even stronger hits from Valkyrie. Hey everyone, EB here, back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to be turning Wyvern into a DB slash BB Beyblade. Now show you the combo. For the core, we're going to be using Ragnarok. There's not many cores out there that match the design of Wyvern, but I think Ragnarok is the closest. For the blade, we're going to be using Chain. Tried to find a blade with a similar shape to Wyvern, and I think Chain does the best job at that. When using a core inside of the Chain Blade, you'll notice that the chain starts to protrude, and I think it matches the shape of Wyvern pretty well. There's no free spinning blades in Beyblade vs. DB, but I think Chain does a pretty good job at replicating the shape. It's also pretty thick, which is good for defense, and I think the colors match it pretty well. Then for the armor, we're going to be using 4 as a reference to the 4 disc that came on Tornado Wyvern. For the disc, we're going to be using Nexus Plus S. I was looking for a way that we could add the free spin gimmick into Wyvern, so I thought the Nexus Plus S would work since it has a free spin mode. This part doesn't really match Wyvern too well, but I feel like the free spinning gimmick is a no-brainer for this combo. Finally, for the driver, we're going to be using Atomic Dash. I was looking for drivers that match the Wyvern theme pretty well. Not that. Bruh. So we're going to be using Atomic Dash because it's going to be an upgraded version of the Atomic Driver from Tornado Wyvern. Now to put it together. Boom. BU Wyvern. To test out this combo, we're going to battle it against Xyphoid Excalibur, Ultimate Valkyrie, and Burst Spriggan. I wanted to change things up though, so I'm going to be changing the drivers on these bays. Ultimate Valkyrie is now going to have Variable Dash with the Wing Dash Disc. First Spurgeon is going to have the Unite Dash Driver, and Xyphoid Excalibur is going to be using Impact. Since all these bays originated from Season 1, I changed the drivers to be Season 1 drivers to make it more interesting. I use these three bays a lot, and I thought it would be boring if we used the same combos, so we're going to be changing it up. First opponent is going to be Xyphoid Excalibur. <laughs> with a bad start for Zyphoid Excalibur. To be honest, I kind of expected that impact was going to make it garbage, but we're doing it anyway. And another point for Wyvern. Before any of you get mad, you gotta remember that I just did a video a while ago where Zyphoid Excalibur was pretty much winning the whole time. You should go and watch it because I put a lot of work into it, please. Um, yeah, next round. Okay, okay, so far we got one win for Xyphoid Excalibur. It's not really much though, since the other one has two points. And another win for Xyphoid Excalibur. Another point for Wyvern. Big hits. And I was going to say it doesn't do much, but it is doing much because now they're tied at three points. Okay. This was all supposed to be a joke. This was supposed to be like the test bay to kind of joke around because I knew it was going to be bad. But why is it winning now? you got to be kidding me. If it wins one more time, then it's the winner, which I don't like, and it better not win because it's gonna make me look like an idiot. Okay, we're going around. Circling around, ready to hit it, and it better not win. Come on, Wyvern, just outspin it. Yes. We have a circle action. You gotta be kidding me, why? And I was actually originally gonna make a full video with Xyphoid Excalibur with Impact, but I don't think I need to anymore unless you guys really want that. But, uh, next bear. Next opponent is gonna be Ultimate Valkyrie. Okay, some strong hits. But it doesn't look like it's enough to take down Wyvern, as Variable Dash has no stamina. And Wyvern with the first plant. I just want to say this video is a nightmare to record. Holy, these guys are loud. Oh, 
strong boy, or strong girl, I mean. Oh, strong hits. Even stronger hits from Valkyrie. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Oh, strong hits. Even stronger hits from Valkyrie. I was not expecting that. Valkyrie in with the burst, and it got halfway to bursting as well. That looked so cool. I, I'm pr I probably showed a slow-mo just now. That looked awesome. Okay, so with that burst, that makes Valkyrie the winner, because I count bursts as three points in these battles, which means it now has five points, and it just took down Wyvern with ease. That there is probably why I shouldn't have used the Ragnarok core, but I decided to use it anyway. I didn't really know what other core to use, so if you had a better core, let me know in the comments. Next bear. The third and final opponent is Burst Spriggan. Hopefully it doesn't crack. Come on, Spriggan, take Wyvern down. Hopefully Wyvern doesn't crack at this time. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm referencing. If you've watched season one of Beyblade Burst, you know that Wyvern cracks Storm Spriggan, which causes it to break in its battle against Lognus. And this time, Spriggan takes it with the outspin. Oh, Spriggan didn't like that. Now it's coming in for the hit. but it's slowing down a little bit because my Unite Dash is a bit worn. Uh, it's not at its full aggressiveness, but it's still doing pretty well. It should have a bit of stamina, which it's definitely gonna need here. And I think it has three points. Let me just check the score now. Sorry, it actually has two points. The score is now 2-0. Yes, take it down like that. Another KO. Okay. Wyvern countering those hits. I decided to launch it second this time. Because Spriggan has four points. Wyvern doesn't even have a single win yet, I don't think. Never mind, I'm actually wrong, and that makes Spriggan the winner, meaning that this combo is garbage. Overall, for my thoughts on this combo, I don't think it's that good. Uh, probably for a few reasons. First reason is because of the Ragnarok core. Um, as you saw with the Ultimate Valkyrie video, like the round with the Ultimate Valkyrie, you notice that it burst uh, pretty easily there. Then the other thing that's not good is probably the recoil, the recoil from the chain blade. And then finally is the disc and driver combination. Uh, the disc kind of scrapes a bit when it goes around the edge, which isn't good. But yeah, this combo is not very good. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Leave the video with a like if you liked it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the, in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.